I think there's a lot of differing opinions on time tracking in productivity circles where tracking every day probably seems a bit obsessive to some people. So I wanted to go through why and how I track every minute of the day. I think my biggest struggle when it comes to productivity is not that I decide to spend my time in an unproductive way. The problems come when I don't decide on how to spend my time at all. If I don't have anything else that I absolutely need to be doing and I make a conscious decision to take the evening off to play cyberpunk or watch a movie or whatever, then I'm generally very happy with that. What I am a lot less happy with is if there's something I should be doing and I'm not doing that thing, but I also don't make the decision that I should take a break and want to do something I really enjoy. Instead, what I will do is just lie in bed and keep telling myself, okay, I'll start doing the thing in five to 10 more minutes. But for now, I'll just browse another page on Reddit, check out Twitch, just do something that is endless and mindless and that I don't really enjoy when I'm in these states. There is a wonderful blog post on the website Wait But Why called Why Procrastinators Procrastinate. And I'll show the website here. He really nails this concept where he calls it the dark playground. It's basically where you just spend time on things that you don't really enjoy just because they're easy to avoid starting something productive. And the danger of the dark playground is that it's so easy for it to just keep going on and on. And it's not only that what you're doing here is not really fun or rewarding, it's also when you're in this state, there's this constant sense of guilt that just kind of keeps building up, which just makes the entire experience even worse. Combating this behavior is the main reason why I do time tracking. This pushes me in the direction of always being deliberate about what I'm doing, whether that's relaxing or if it's working or working out. I started out just tracking the time spent working on my game in Toggle. But when I decided to track every minute of my day, I realized I had to find a more streamlined solution because if it's something you need to do all the time every day, even just a tiny bit of friction causes a lot of problems. So what I've ended up using is something called Time Euler. Time Euler? I think whenever I have a word where I'm not sure how I want to pronounce it, in my head, I always just exchange that part for reading it out in Norwegian. So in my head, I've always called it Time Euler, but I now realize it's probably Time Euler, like, modular or something, I don't know. So I'll link to the website in the description and I will say these are kind of expensive. I think it's like $100 or something per cube. I do think there are some cheaper knockout versions you can get. So what the time Euler is, is these little physical time trackers. It's these little cubes with eight sides. You get like various stickers and some markers where you can draw on them. You assign each side to a task. There's eight different sides. Then you just turn on the timer, put it on the side of the task you're tracking and then it just keeps going. So when I'm changing tasks, I don't need to like open an app or find the window or do anything on my computer. I just have the cube on my desk and I just change it to whatever I'm doing next. Okay, I think this will change the focus. You can see my cube here it's, uh, to the moon. It communicates via Bluetooth and it has these little stations you put them in when you don't want to track anything. I have two different cubes, one for work and then one for non-work. It isn't fully optimized for having two cubes. You need to turn one off and then turn the other one on, but the switch only takes like five to 10 seconds. And I do it two times per day, basically at the start of my work day and at the end of my work day. So it's perfectly manageable. At least for me, if I was going to track every minute of the day, I would never do it with anything but a completely frictionless physical timer. So the benefit I get from using this is in the physical action of changing tasks. So if I'm sitting down and I'm working on one thing and I'm about to change over to the next thing, this is when I'm in the real danger zone of falling into the dark playground. So taking the timer, putting it onto the new side, it just signals to me that, okay, it's time to change the tasks and this is what you're doing. And if I do find myself like five, 10, 120 minutes later, realizing that I didn't change the task and I've just been procrastinating, then I will take that time, mark it as its own black category called derping and restart the timer. I basically don't use the data for anything. Sometimes when I'm like posting updates, it's fun to reference it, but I don't really analyze how I'm spending my time because I have a pretty good idea of that already. The cube only has eight sides. So I track things in pretty broad buckets. Like for work, it has a couple of task specific ones like meetings. And for the personal one, I have some kind of specific ones like working on the game or working on YouTube, but then other very broad ones like relaxing or I have one for sleeping. I've tried a couple of times to use these passive time tracking apps. Like I know Rescue Time has something like this where it just runs in the background and 
tells you what you've been doing on your computer. But absolutely, the main benefit of time tracking for me is that I deliberately decide when it's time to do something else. I set the timer as a physical action and then it's time to go. I think habits is one of the other core tenants when it comes to spending your time more deliberately. So I will link to my habits playlist somewhere. And I think that's what I have to say about time tracking. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next Wednesday.